All right, so I have a Samsung Active Water Jet HE Energy Star uh, top loader uh, washing machine. So if you have this Samsung style uh, washer machine, uh, this one uh, gave out and is not spinning. Um, so off the back, I open, inspect, see if there's anything uh, that I can feel, any wiring, or just anything in general around the top portion of the, the face here. If I hear any like clicking, if it's like grinding or anything like that, because it is the spinning portion of it. Uh, I didn't see, see or hear anything really quick. And then, so, <clears throat> second thing I did was take off the back portion of it and see if I see any uh, frays, cuts, or anything before I actually get into the actual wiring. Um, I did not see anything uh, out of the ordinary with the top portion of it. I took out the back plating, took out the lower plating, follow all the wiring, uh, everything and anything that has to do with this. Uh, I saw this motor uh, portion of it. It's probably some kind of drain. It's still holding water. Um, that's the portion that pushes the water out. Um, uh, I'm gonna definitely inspect that one, but in order for me to do that is I took it apart, uh, check out the back side, see how everything's back here. Uh, there's nothing in the back, so I'm gonna go under. So, if you're washer machine is not uh, draining this is the uh, part that actually tells it that it's draining and it's connected to a drain link so this actually it's just, it's just a small lever that pulls on it and it initiates this motor uh, from one function to another one to start actually uh, initiating the drain uh, but if it breaks this tiny little link here um, I try looking up the part and it has a ton of uh, part numbers like right underneath there there we go so it's got drain link on there and I try A2 drain link and I try DC 6600978 alpha lower line X001 and even the lower portion part of it. Uh, I try looking that up as well, which is DJ98 and then it's 1X1 and it's really hard to see the other one, but it's X4-2. It's a tiny little portion down there. Um, so yeah, I tried everything to get this part on there uh, so I can get it on order. But uh, since it's such a small uh, part, they might actually, they might, they, they might sell it. Uh, with the actual motor, but definitely I don't want to buy this entire thing. So I'm going to show you a quick way how to fix this. <coughs> Duct tape it. Um, hopefully it works. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through the broken portion of the tooth. It's broken and I'm gonna bring it through the back and I'm just gonna duct tape it. So as you can see, the wire goes through the back of this and you have to uh, pull this up. Uh, the tape is in the back and it's yeah, fairly long. So 
I'm gonna take the back portion of it, press this at the same time, kind of tuck it in, and then wrap this all the way around multiple times, possibly uh, creating a stronger bond than, than usual. Uh, this just kind of hangs there, and this motor, when it actuates, it just pulls and spins, pulls that, and it's just a tiny little pull that engages or disengages on that lever right back here. And then that's it. That will cause your washer machine not to drain. And all you have to do is flip it upside down. You don't see that connected. Uh, I'm used to seeing a lot of broken stuff. So as soon as I see something that's uh, not matching something like this, I'll go ahead and investigate a little bit more, find a part and I'll fix it. So basically, uh, this is overkill right here. It looks kind of wonky, but leaves plenty of space for this to go up and down. And that should be more than enough to actually keep that in place. So after a portion of my time troubleshooting this, uh, I definitely was in the water uh, clutch. Uh, that actually saved me some money because the actual clutch itself is $103 brand new. Um, it was the actual um, water clutch link, which is the drain link. Uh, it's what the part actually says. Um, overall, I went ahead and taped it up. Um, that worked for a little bit until I figured out how to actually connect the actual drain link. And at the end of it, you're only going to need a screwdriver to take out any fill-ups. Um, the actual vice grips, uh, if you have the hoses in the back or any type of uh, pliers so you can take out the hoses in the back. And the final repair was done with a piece of duct tape. So I hope this was helpful to anybody who's out there. Uh, not having a washing machine that's actually draining and or rinsing because uh, it won't drain. It won't tell it to actually initiate the, the rinse. It'll go through all the other cycles, but when it comes down to the drain and rinse, it won't actually do that unless you uh, either connect this uh, drain link or buy a new one and um, put it on there. So I hope this was helpful. Peace.